Hello and welcome to DNQ. We are in the final stages of what would be an historic result. It is currently Argentina 1, Saudi Arabia 2. They were 1-0 down at half-time. Argentina with three disallowed goals. And in the second half, they have fought back triumphantly and currently lead one of the tournament favourites 2-1. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ryan, how big would this result be for Saudi Arabia and indeed Mental. for Argentina? Mental, mental, mental. I think I've been, so I've not been watching, I've been working, been following it on the BBC. You have been watching, so you can give us a little bit more of, of, of sort of how it's all transpired. I saw a stat that Saudi Arabia, I think, have had 17 World Cup games or 17 games at World Cups. They've lost 11 of them. Mm. They've only won three and two of those were in 84. That might not be quite right. So this would be monumentous for the Green Falcons if they can see this over the line. I'm watching it here. 90 plus 12. What, what's it you're in, mate? Are we almost there? We are, are, we are, are we currently close? in the 104th minute. There was eight minutes of added time. Then there was a bad head collision. We hope that the player that was stretched off, he had thumbs up. He was conscious by the time. Um, what's incredible, by the way, I would just like to say, again, we, we talk about head collisions. The game played on after the head collision, the game Again? played on Why? Until, what the hell is this? until they until the uh, Saudis had the ball in their control. Lionel Messi was on the ball, bearing down on goal, and the referee didn't stop the game. It was clearly a head collision. The keeper's knee straight in here to the to the defender, the Saudi defender's head. Uh, the game wasn't stopped. Ridiculous, but fortunately. Um, he has seemingly regained consciousness and will stretch it off, and that's it. It's full time. It's full time. No, it went to 104 minutes. Saudi Arabia have won. They have beaten Argentina in Argentina's first. Oh, the players on the floor. The scenes are incredible. Lionel Messi's Argentina have been defeated by one of the lowest ranked teams in this tournament. Insane. Wow, wow, wow. They were in our video of, of, of the lowest ranked teams. Were they ranked 51? Are they the lowest ranked? No, they're no, not. They're not 50, Ghana they're 50, are. Ghana, yeah. Yeah, they're 51. Um, it was Ghana, then Saudi Arabia, then Qatar. Is that wow. the biggest result at a World Cup for... In oh, my goodness. I can't think of anything that compares to that. We're talking about one of the pre-tournament favourites, yeah. Messi. It's his sort of... It, it's his, his last dance. People are saying, at a World Cup, this is the year. Argentina, they're going to bring the trophy home. For him, he's going to bring it home. First game, they take the lead, that Messi penalty. Obviously, I didn't watch it. I'm going off what I'm looking here on the BBC. The second half, Saudi Arabia come back. I'm, I'm, mate. Surely no one saw this coming. Talk, talk us through. You know, let's just do a quick fire reaction. I mean, how, how are you feeling after? What's the scenes? What sort of scenes are you looking at? Are they, are the, apparently, the, the atmosphere was incredible from the Saudi well, Arabia fans. And yeah, I mean, you've, you've got to think. Whilst the two neighbouring countries haven't always kind of got along in some ways, I think I do think that every fan of a Middle Eastern team at this tournament is supporting their kind of local team, similar to how we want Wales to do well. Um, and so there's been a bit that, the, I'm looking at the scenes here, players running over to the fans, a green wall around the stadium. Love and, it. And lots of, lots of kind of white in there as well as you'd expect, which is obviously the traditional wear of a lot of people um, in, in Qatar and indeed Saudi as well. Flags being mm. waved. It, it, it truly incredible scenes. I think, I think I did say that Saudi Arabia were were one of the sort of strongest teams despite their lowest ranking. I, you know, I think I said they've been developing for a long time. Um, I'll have to go back and check. But well, are you, are you, are you claiming that, this? I'm not claiming I predicted it. They've won having because of my that, prediction. <laughs> having said that, I don't think anyone predicted. This, this level of performance as well. Um, did Argentina deserve to win if you look purely at stats? Yes, they had more shots, more shots on target, etc. But I can honestly say that... The penalty, in my opinion, was a penalty. It was a penalty. And, and the only reason I'm saying it was a penalty is because as the ball... The ball isn't even played into the box, by the way. So it's a free kick where you'd expect to cross it. Messi tries to dink it back to the edge of the box. The Argentina player doesn't know that he's doing that, so he's trying to make a run into the box. And the defender isn't looking at the ball. He's mm. only looking at the man. He does grapple him. The arm goes over the top. Does it make any difference to the play? No, but in my opinion, it's a foul and a penalty. In a similar way that the Maguire one for England was also a penalty. Um, and it, they've said they're going to be harsh on it, and therefore it's a pen. Good pen tucked away by Messi. Then the disallowed goals start coming in. Um, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. two of them clearly offside, flagged by the linesman as offside, and then double-checked. Saudi Arabia... 
played played the offside trap. They were doing that played from the get-go. High press. They didn't respect Argentina too much in this game. They didn't give them pressure. I didn't see that many Argentina players beat that many Saudis in a 1v1 with the exception of probably Angel Di Maria and, of course, Lionel Messi. Um, the only contentious one, Argentina's second offside goal, um, Lautaro Martinez, who scored it. And in my opinion... Yeah, yeah. I've seen the... Um, it's the rules. I've seen the, 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 rules still, the still of it, yeah. That it's, that it's offside. But as a football fan, I'd say it's not. I'd say it's not offside. He gains no advantage. And, and when they come over the country and say, oh, technically, you know, you can score with that part of the body, so he's offside. If he scoops it up and arms mm. it in, it gets ruled out for handball. So, so where do you draw the line, you know? Um, mm. But the rules are the rules. VAR didn't get anything wrong in this game. The rules are the rules. And then at the start of the second half, I'm just watching the first goal here, Al Sherry gets the goal on 48 minutes. They do have a lot of pace. They have a lot of pace going forward. Mm. And, and they squeeze Lionel Messi on the ball that they actually dispossess. And then they break forward very quickly. Uh, and they just, they just outdo the defenders for pace. And it's a stunning finish into the bottom corner, beating Martinez. Um, it, it's a really, really good goal. Do watch the highlights because, because the Saudi goals are phenomenal. They get it back to mm. one all, And from that point, their tails were up. And I feel like they deserved, they deserved to take the lead. Then Al Al Dorzari, um, yeah. apologies if I've not quite pronounced that right, brings it down, beats two or three Argentinian players, wiggles, and then wraps it top in, similar to that Conor Gallagher goal for Crystal Palace that we saw in the Premier League. It is a stunningly good finish. And they had real dominance until that point. I think they deserved it. And that was only on 53. So a <laughs> yeah. really quick start to the second half. And so then they had to play an additional 51 minutes because of added time, <laughs> leading... <laughs> Bad. One of the favourites, Argentina. I honestly think they deserved it. Mm. They were defensively resolute. Argentina had chances from that point on, but there was n- nothing dubious about it. Mm. Nothing that you'd say, oh, that was a penalty and it wasn't given, or oh, we should have done better with that chances. Messi had a couple of headers. There were some good saves from the, the Saudi keeper. But, but Argentina just didn't know what to do. They did not know mm. what to do. And Saudi Arabia played bloody well. Mm. And... Incredible. I think they deserve Absolutely it. Absolutely incredible. I, I'm trying to think of a bigger result um, internationally than that because whilst we've seen sides like sort of, um, you know, draws that, that New Zealand have had um, at previous World Cups, Yeah. this is an opening game of a World Cup for Messi's final World Cup. One of the favourites, I'm just looking at some of the tackles put in, some of the defensive displays of brilliance here. Honestly... Stunning, stunning result, and congratulations to Saudi Arabia because they deserved it. Mm. Just looking at some of the some of the stats, I mean, they had three shots, two on target, and but two worldies. Like, two yeah, worldies. two absolute worldies, and wow, mate, that just throws. We, I mean, we'll see Mexico um, um, play Poland, don't they? In the other game in Group C later on today at four o'clock, and now that blows Group C wide open. You have to Incredible. say it does because it's not a draw. Because it's not a draw. So yeah. Argentina now have to win. They have yeah. to beat Mexico and Poland. And that's it's tough. all right, they could, but that's not easy. That's not easy. And also Saudi Arabia have given teams a blueprint now of how you can beat Argentina. Argentina's mm. two centre backs are not blessed with that much pace. And if you surprised they didn't well, start um surprised they didn't start um, the, the United Martinez. Uh, the Alexandra Martinez. Martinez, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe that would have benefited them. I mean, all credit here has to go to Saudi Arabia. And you look at it now and you go, can they get Can they get something? Can they get something out of Mexico? Can they get something out of Poland? Because they're top of the group now on three points. They've beaten yeah. Argentina. They've got a real chance say. to get through it. Oh, amazing. Amazing, mate. A story of a, of a World Cup minnow or, you know, a minnow at this tournament doing well. A, a massive, massive result on the biggest on the biggest of stages. It's just... So good. Perfect. Ideal DNQ stuff, mate. Ideal it's, it is ideal for DNQ, and all we need now is, uh, is an Australia win as well to make, uh, yes. to make a pretty perfect day. Come on. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this. hope you enjoyed the game. Do watch the highlights. Honestly, go and watch the highlights of the game. I think Saudi Arabia deserved it. Were they the better team? No, of course, Argentina are better. But the grit, the determination, the passion, congratulations to Saudi Arabia. And from all of us at DNQ, just the two of us, we will see you <laughs> next time.